Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we could do a beautiful bookmarks. I have a paper that is 20 by 40 centimeters and that is actually, let's just check, 8 by 15 and a half inches. So it's a good uh, spread of paper for bookmarks. I actually divided it into six parts, but today we will be painting only three of those. And I also found a beautiful, just a second, a reference photo. And I was thinking this would just be too perfect to do bookmarks. So we're gonna do this. And I also decided to do a real-time tutorial because I know a lot of you said you're, you're enjoying those. So I decided to do a painting session that well, we could do together and you can just make yourself some coffee or some tea or whatever you like and join me. This will be pretty easy, pretty fast. So I think I think you should try it. OK, first we will start with pre-wetting our paper and all three bookmarks. And uh, I don't think we are, uh, I don't think we're going to paint them separately, but just together as one painting and then later on divide it into three parts into bookmarks and that is the reason why I placed a washi tape around this is a thinner one and a thicker one in between because we're gonna cut that in half and this is gonna stay the whole um, whole border and we want our borders all to be the same so I placed here a thicker washi tape and on the edges thinner so we are going to use a round, larger round brush and I have have pre-wetted my paints, sp um, sprayed them with a little bit of water. I'm not sure if my palette now cannot fit here, so it doesn't matter. This is actually Mother Lake Red Light and we're going to use a little bit of Ultramarine. Just a little bit of Ultramarine and I'm going to mix in this beautiful all well, purple color and we're going to do this in our background just a couple of purple ones that are blurred, blurred and they will as they dry blur but for now just trying to make the shape of that flower that is in our foreground and like that not anything too much and here my paper is already starting to dry so even though this is not on my reference photo I really do want to do this I will just do a couple of splatters and I have to cover the other three parts because I don't want the paint to go into that part also so I will just splatter like this a couple of sprinkles to make well to make it more interesting in our background okay this is now done and i'm gonna dry it with my hair dryer and then we'll continue so this is now dry and there is just one thing guys i forgot to mention but before that i'm just gonna say that i will also again pre-wet it but this time um using just a little amount of water, not too much. I'm drying my brush on my jar and just going in with just a little bit of water, not, not too much. We don't want our paper to be too wet. And yes, the thing I wanted to say is that all the materials I will be using today, paints, uh, paper, brushes, all will be mentioned down in the description box, also together with the links for uh, Amazon for purchasing those uh, materials and I wanted to tell you that those links are actually affiliate links of mine so if you buy anything uh, using those links I will have I will uh, get a small commission and that is not ex nothing extra charge to you but it will help me to well <laughs> to fund <laughs> finance myself and also, of course, these videos and materials I'm using. So I would be very, very grateful if you would 
well if you're purchasing your materials of course anyway not to go out of your way or and to purchase anything you you were not planning to buy but if you were planning to buy new materials and new supplies and well want to buy those uh, i'm using well i would very much appreciate it if you would use my link and as i said uh, that i would get a small commission and well we were grateful <laughs> so now we're moving on uh, i dried the paper and prevent it again as i said and now i am adding some more of this is only mother lake red light also just stopping in and since those flowers are uh, pointy and uh, vertical i'm just making the impression of those flowers in, also in our foreground and well i'm just adding a little bit of mother lake red light and these are also going to be blurred blurred so i'm not really painting them uh precisely but just again tapping in and making the impressions of those flowers and right now we are going to add also some green and that is going to be the leaves and greenery in our uh, in our flowers and the greenery is just down here not actually too much up upper just in the lower part in the lower third so we're gonna again add that greenery here and there and some maybe stems and i'm gonna use a little bit more of that greenery and just like that and this one and there there will be uh somewhere the paper will be um, more dry and summer will be more wet but doesn't matter that is all okay and just at the bottom part also a little bit and as you can see I'm using right now a smaller round brush because uh, that brush can of course pick up less uh, less water and it would spread a little bit less and that's it and now we're gonna do one more thing and i need to cover again this part we're gonna sprinkle some clean water and you've probably if you watched my earlier videos you've probably seen that i love that effect and it just leaves those white well spots here and there and makes those flowers a little bit more realistic it does it won't be the one entire wash all the same wash but have this white splatters that will just give i think a beautiful effect and as you can see by now this is just so so easy to do and pretty fast also so you can stop here you don't have to go you can uh, splatter some some paint here some i'm gonna do that right now mother lake red light just splatter here like that and stop here you don't have to go any further with your flowers and your your bookmarks but we will do a little bit more and i'm just sprinkling again some water and your paper for that shouldn't be too damped and if there is just too much water on the paper this won't work and won't leave any beautiful marks so when you start drying it you will see if if it's drying nicely or if it just is if it's going into one uh, similar one same wash and if it does stop drying it and add some more splatters with the water and we're gonna see right now i will just i will just now dry this and as i said this is drying in one same wash just a second and I want a little bit more of that white of the paper peeking through so I'm this is not completely dry but it is almost dry somewhere it won't work but somewhere like here see where the the most water was just when you sprinkle you will get those blooms and here and it will just look gorgeous when dried and that's it now I will dry it completely and I'll come back so I'm back this is now completely dry and next step is going to be use that script brush of ours I just have to get back my palette just a second so here it is I'm always moving my palette when I'm uh, drying 
the water with my with my uh, hair dryer because when I don't move it, it dries. Those heat from the hair dryer also dries my paint. And when I'm trying, when I'm uh, rewetting it, I'm adding a little bit more water and make it more uh, less saturated. So I don't want that. I want my paint to stay saturated. So I'm moving the palette that uh, so I don't have to rewet it again. And that is the reason why I'm doing it. So if you don't want your paint to dry on your palette while you using a hair dryer, you should you should move it. So the next thing is going to paint. We're going to paint some stems, and for that we're using we're using green. This is just a regular green. And I'm using a script brush. You can use any brush with a pointy tip, any round brush with a pointy tip, maybe even an angular brush, whatever you like, for painting stems, thin lines, and like that. And we're gonna add a couple of those, you know, on every. Oh, sorry. On every part of our painting on every bookmark. So this is going to be three different, of course, bookmarks and just keep that in mind. And I'm going to do the last one. And as I said, this is only a green. You can also use sap green. This is uh, this is really just <laughs> just a green. If you haven't realized that just a green. So you can use sap green, you can use olive green, well, whatever green you have. And I'm going to add just maybe here like that. And maybe just a couple of smaller ones at the bottom. Just coming from here and there just to make it more a bit more realistic and that it just looks that our flowers is in a somewhere in the grass like this. There you go. Quite simple. And now I'm going to use again that Mother Lake Red Light. And this time I will add just a little bit of Cadmium Yellow Medium to it. I love the color. It just, it just warms up that Mother Lake Red Light. And I love the color that I get then. And then we're going to just do a couple of like that topping in with the tip of our script brush. As I said, if you don't have a script brush, you can use any round pointy tip round brush. And again, just don't have don't have to paint every single paddle, just adding like that. And here. Like that and downward a couple of so this is really fun and I must say very relaxing calming you know perfect painting for to calm yourself down if you have all well, any troubles or whatever just Play some music and just do this. Sprinkling, splashing and well, tapping in some color like this. It's just always so relaxing to me. I, I love doing it. And you can add, as you see, a little bit more saturated paint. So to, to make it look like there's there are some shadows also. And this one is going up, upwards, you know, and you can see I'm not really doing anything precise, just topping in, you know, here and there and downwards. Maybe some, some could be down here also, some flowers. And I'm going to add a little bit more darker paint here. So it looks like again, some shadows and like this, 
maybe some sticking here, you know, from the side of our bookmark and some here. And this one needs a little bit more. So you just look at yours and do your flowers wherever you think that they're necessary, they will look nice and add a little bit more shadows or highlights where you think they would be welcome. They will look nice. And of course, what would this be without a little bit more sprinkling? And we'll do that ju in just a second. I just want to add finish all of my flowers so I don't have to add any anymore like this and maybe again some like that and maybe even here why not you know sticking from the side like this and maybe some here there you go and again a couple of here downwards and here maybe some here and that's it i'm not gonna do any more but i am going to add a little bit more ultramarine here and i want to make that violet color to sprinkle and this time i have to also again cover this so these are our splatters we're gonna just splash in some some where our flowers are but also upwards in our sky you know why not and again i'm using that little script brush and i'm gonna water it a bit to get a little watered down paint and some lighter splashes Like this and this is you can see very very easy to do and there you go and I'm gonna add you don't have to do this but if you want of course you're welcome to I'm gonna use just a little bit more of sepia here in our top part and I'm gonna add just a couple of lines here with that sepia color just to give it a little bit more dimension in this lower part you know with a couple of darker stems leaves whatever and maybe make some go up and as i said you could have stopped there and splattering but you can of course go further and I'm gonna do a little bit more of those splatters you know I, I don't think there's ever enough of splatters in my opinion so I think that's it I think that's it I think this is just fine just enough we won't it won't need anything else and I believe it's beautiful just as it is so that is it and only thing we need to do is take off our uh, washi tape but of course i will have to paint this first and after i paint this i will take off this washi tape but you will probably see this at the end of this video so as i said uh thank you a lot for joining me for for watching this for maybe even trying this if you did try this please uh and you have of course instagram page please uh, tag me if you're posting it on Instagram. I would love to see it. It always makes me so much happy to see um, every single painting of yours done, uh, by my t done by following my tutorial. And I'm always very, very grateful for that. And that just that is actually the thing that keeps me inspired and wants, makes me want to go on and, and do this. And well, as I said, if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, share it, 
And if you haven't still, well, please subscribe to my channel. Of course, that would also mean a lot, lot, lot to me. And well, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.